Welcome everyone to Nature Simplistic Beauty Motivation. If this is your first time here, welcome. I do appreciate you stopping by and I hope you will be inspired to return, to get inspired to be your best self with inspirational and motivational words as well as helpful tutorials to help you in your YT journey. And for my returning subscribers, I do appreciate each and every one of you for keep coming back and supporting me. Thank you so much. In today's video, I'm going to go over how we can stay in compliance with Google AdSense once we are monetized. And for you that's on your journey to monetize, monetization you will uh, learn now what you need to do once monetized to keep monetized so we're gonna go over the rules in terms of our uploads what Google require from us everyone so the first thing you want to do of course is go to your Google Adsense account and to get to your Google Adsense account you're gonna go to Google type in Google Adsense and you're going to log in okay once you log in right where it has your balance on the first page there's three dots next to where your balance is click on those three dots and then that drop down uh, menu that will come up, click on help, and it will bring you here, all right? So once you get here, all right, you're gonna scroll down, and right here where it says uh, AdSense Policies of Beginner's Guide, you wanna click on that. And then once you click on that, this is what we want right here, okay? It says Policies of Beginner's Guide, and it says stay compliant with our policies okay it says we hope that all publishers participating in AdSense have a long and successful partnership with Google for that to happen it is important that you familiarize yourself with the AdSense program policies the more you know about our policies the more likely it is that all sites and pages where you display Google Ads will fully comply with these policies. To get you started, we have highlighted some of the most important and commonly violated policies. These simple rules aren't a comprehensive list of our policies, but following them will help keep your account in good standing and that is what we want. Once we are monetized, we want to stay in good standing with Google AdSense so we can keep those ads running on our videos. So the first thing here, it says clicks and impressions, okay? Our specialist carefully monitors clicks and impressions on Google Ads, okay? It says Google use both automated systems and human reviews in order to protect um, our interests and the interests of their advertisers okay so it says here and here are some uh, of the ways where you can help ensure that your sites provide the highest quality traffic number one don't click on your own Google Ads I repeat don't click on your own Google Ads. It says if you like more information about one of the advertisers appearing on your site, please type the URL of the ad directly into your browser's bar. So if you're interested in a product that you see advertised on your video, you must go look that up separately in a different browser you're not to click on Google Ads yourself also don't ask anyone to click on your Google Ads encouraging users to click on your Google Ads is strictly prohibited whether directly or indirectly on your own site or third-party sites or even via email users should always click on Google Ads because they are interested in the 
services being advertised and not to raise uh, money for your site or to generate some sort of reward for yourself. So in other words, those ads are placed there for people who are viewing your videos. And if they have a genuine interest in the product, they are the only ones that's supposed to be clicking on those products. Genuine viewers who are genuinely interested in the product. Do not encourage friends, families, uh, neighbors, anyone to click on the ads for personal gain. In other words, to gain earn more money on the video it is not it is um that is prohibited by google everyone so we want to stay in compliance and stay monetized also it says choose the location for your ads carefully it says that you must maintain adequate spaces between ads okay so if you're placing additional ads manually make sure you are spacing them out correctly and not in order to trigger and accidental clicks on the ads they must be placed spaciously and honestly not to be deceptive or uh, to trigger accidental clicks okay so please let's adhere to these policies so we can stay monetized it also says that uh, publishers need to be very careful when purchasing traffic or setting up ad campaigns with third parties all right so before contracting with any ad network you should ensure that they will never display your site in pop-ups or as a result of, uh, of the actions of any software okay so if you're going to buy an ad to advertise your youtube channel you have to make sure they are using it and doing it correctly not to uh to be deceptive to others to place pop-ups or malware or anything like that so you must make sure they are doing it correctly okay also use Google Analytics okay if you're not yet using Google Analytics we encourage you to use Google Analytics and this is where we are going to go now to Google Analytics and I'm going to show you the first one was clicks and impressions i'm going to show you how you can check the impressions on your youtube videos okay so let's go here all right so i have a video up here all right this is one of my videos from uh about two days ago so in order to see of course you know how to get here you're going to go and click on your picture and you're going to click on your uh, YouTube studio and then once you get here you're going to click on analytics all right so you click on analytics and when you click that you will get the video analytics and this is the overview the first thing you see is how many views you have so far on the video and how many watch hours you have gained so far from that video and if you gain any subscribers from that video how many so to see your impressions you got to click on reach all right so once you click on reach this is where you will see your impressions all right so in order to see what impressions are simply hover your mouse and you can read and see it says the total number of times your video thumbnail was shown to viewers since the video was published so this is how many times youtube showed this video to viewers since it was uploaded okay and then you have your impressions click through rate so this is views per impression shown this measures how often viewers watch a video after seeing an impression which is this here after seeing an impression okay 
wondering whether your impression click-through rate is high or low let's click on see more to see what is a good uh, click-through rate okay so according to this let me move that over some so you can see better all right so according to this it says here all right it says that uh, half of all channels and videos on YouTube have an impressions CTR which is click-through rate that can range between 2 to 10 percent so the average click-through rate is 2 to 10 percent so of course you want to be closer to 10 percent or higher it does go over 10 percent because I've had several videos with the impressions over 10 percent so this is a good click-through rate 7.9 because the lowest is 2 so you want to be in the higher number because the higher the click-through rate the more YouTube will show the video to people because this number determines if people are clicking on the video or not so if you want to see how uh, your video is doing click on your impressions click on your click-through rate if you have a high click-through rate that means the uh, your viewers are clicking on this video when it is shown by YouTube so in reference to this number here this is how many people actually click on the video and watch so it was shown to 385 7.9 percent people clicked on it and of the percentage that click 66 people actually stayed and watched the video everyone all right so that is how you um, check your impressions your click-through rate and let's uh, remember to summarize do not click on your own ads don't encourage anyone to click on your ads if you place ads on your video make sure you're spacing them out correctly and not being deceptive with them kept keep up with your analytics to make sure you see how your video um, is doing and that is how you can determine which videos are doing well and which topics are doing well and which ones YouTube um, are suggesting in your favor all right and that brings us to the end of this video let's continue to do the right thing so we stay monetized because we work very 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 hard to get monetized and i don't know about you but i want to stay monetized i want to continue to see that green dollar sign next to my videos and i'm sure you do too so let's all do the right thing everyone thank you guys if you like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up share it so we can help other people comment and let me know what you think or ask any questions and don't forget to hit that subscribe button the notification button and come back to see me again bye bye everyone